Well, I brought with me something this morning. <clears throat> Do you know what this is? Do you think this is a blow dryer? This is God. This is God. I want you to understand this is God this morning. I'm going to use this to represent God in our life. Now, actually, it's what? It's a blow dryer? Well, you know, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is represented by air. And so I brought this along to represent. Feel the Spirit of God blowing on you? Yeah. That's the Spirit of God. Now, I also brought along something to represent you and me. When we give our lives to Jesus and we become a Christian, every human being, God wants us. And God wants us... Huh? It's an egg of sorts. And God wants to take, and God wants us to be held by His Spirit. That's good. And as long as we're in the control of the Spirit of God, we can bounce around, we can move around, we can go up and down, we can have our bad days. But when we get out of the, when we get out of the, the Holy Spirit's leadership, we have a problem, don't we? Things can be really blowing hard in our life, but the Holy Spirit wants to keep us there, okay? Whether you now you can go to the left or you can go up, you can go to the right, and as long as you stay in the control of the Holy Spirit, you're doing good. Now, I'm going to talk to the folks this morning. When you all go to children's church, I'm going to talk to the folks this morning about staying in the control of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Holy Spirit wants to talk to us. God is the Holy Spirit. I'll hold it. And uh, God is the Holy Spirit, and He wants us to stay in His control. Do you have the Holy Spirit living in you? Now, the way you get the Holy Spirit to live in you is that you invite Jesus into your life is the Holy Spirit inside of you so that He can control you. And no matter what's going on in your life, you'll be in the control of the Holy Spirit. Isn't that neat? No, it doesn't belong to me. I borrowed it too. Okay? Well, thank you. It's time to go to Children's Church. But before you do, before we go to Children's Church, let's have a prayer, okay? You are. Okay. Kids, let's hold hands over here. Y'all ready? All right. Let's pray. Let's hold hands. Dear Father, I thank You so much for each of these boys and girls this morning. And I pray Your blessings upon them. Thank You, Father. Bless them and use them in mighty ways in their life. May they invite Jesus into their life so that the Holy Spirit might have control of their lives. And Lord, as long as they take and, and let You control their life, they'll be just like that ball in the, in the wind of the hairdryer. You will control their life and bless them. And they'll have a great life. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.